the Lakers blow a 26-point lead up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Final scores, 115 to 123. Lakers at halftime were leading uh, by that 26 points, 72 to 56 were the scores. And the second half just went downhill. Um, let's quickly get into the player performances. Shy Gilgis Alexander, 9 rebounds, 5 assists and 27 points. He was great. And so was Josh Giddy, our guy from Australia. 2 rebounds, 10 assists and 18 points for Josh. Giddy up, folks. He was putting on an absolute show. Uh, he's definitely a contender for Rookie of the Year for me. 6 of those 10 assists were in the first half. Darius Baisley, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 20 points. For the Lakers, Anthony Davis had 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 30 points. Russell Westbrook finished up with a triple-double, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, and 20 points. This is what we like to see from Russ, them stats. Uh, he had 10 assists in the first half. Would have liked to see a bit more uh, in the second, but to be honest, I would have liked to see uh, a bit more from the Lakers in the second half altogether. Uh, and also, Avery Bradley finished up with one revenge and 13 points. Some of his shots uh, were really good, so that, that's great to see. LeBron James was still rested. Uh, AD played, even though he uh, picked up that knee knock last game. So, you know, looking at this game in general, just um, a few pointers from me. What I saw, perimeter defense, very poor at times it felt like there was none. We fell asleep in that second half. We let the the Thunder back in. Uh, you know, blowing a 26-point lead, it's not what you want to see, but credit to the Thunder for pouncing on that, for catching us when we were uh, slacking off and, you know, getting those buckets, uh, the Thunder, credit to them on their first win. And they, they completely embarrassed the Lakers in this game. Vogel, Coach Vogel, Poor rotations, I have to say, at times and through this season and uh, parts of last season, there was, uh, there were, I should say, poor rotations. Now, that's something we got to fix up and look at. 1.5 seconds left. Westbrook, not happy with Darius Baisley for um, dunking the ball. He got a steal and dunked a uh, really good um, steal from Baisley. Westbrook wasn't happy, uh, a bit frustrated, and the referee ejected Westbrook from the game. There's one and a half seconds left. It is not going to matter, and it took them a while to look at the at what happened and, and look at the situation. It does not matter. The game is over. There is one and a half seconds left, so it shouldn't matter. Silly, just a, a silly poor call by the referee there in my eyes. Um... Turnovers, Lakers had 17 to the Thunders 15, so a bit too much turnovers from LA. Miscommunication kicked in in this game. I look at the threes. Lakers made 11 out of 35, shooting 31.4% from the three-point arc, compared to the Thunders 15 out of 37, shooting 40.5% from the three-point arc. And uh, this differential in the, in the threes... Uh, no perimeter defense from LA, as I mentioned earlier. It, it was poor. I shouldn't say none, but it was very poor. Um, and, you know, you had players like SGA shooting up threes, making them. Uh, last few seconds, I think, um, you know, two wide open threes for the Lakers. One from Malik Monk and one from Carmelo Anthony. Mello had 10 seconds left. A wide open three, and they both were air balls from Monk and Mello. Just, uh, they rushed, they panicked, and, you know, you've got to stay calm and composed in those situations. Carmelo didn't have a really good night scoring, so give it off to someone else to shoot that three. Uh, anyways, it's in the books now. As I mentioned earlier, credit to the Thunder for getting their first win of the season. They thoroughly deserved that one. On Saturday, the Lakers take on the Cleveland Cavaliers at 1.30pm. We're back at home at Staples Centre, so let's hope we get a win. Go Lakers! Right, guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.